Hey guys, Goksum for the one here, and welcome back to another how to use slash strategy guide on my channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use Dragonite. But before I get into the stats, I'm going to show you guys his type effectiveness and also the three main weaknesses that Dragonite has. So looking at Dragonite's type effectiveness, right off the bat, you can already tell that he's a pretty decent Pokemon. Being immune to one move can be pretty advantageous in Pokemon, just because you're able to switch into any ground move and be safe from it in a battle. And his resistances aren't too bad either. The only struggle that Dragonite really has is being four times weak to ice, which is something that you can get around by building your team correctly. So moving into Dragonite's three main weaknesses, we've got Stealth Rocks, Toxic Stalling Pokemon, and Priority Moves. Stealth Rocks can be avoided by Defoggers. Toxic Stalling Mons can be avoided by switching into Dragonite first before they can get their Toxic Stall Mon out, because then you can sweep them from there if you set up correctly with the sets I have. And then Priority Moves, well, you just gotta make sure you take out that Pokemon before you bring out Dragonite. Okay, so moving to the first set here with Dragonite, we've got a mid-game sweeper. Now, this is important that this is a mid-game sweeper and not you bring it out at the start of the battle, because if you do, uh, Dragonite has specific little threats that the other opponent can have that will just shut down Dragonite. For example, a priority Pokemon with like Ice Shard or a Fairy type. So this is very important that you keep this as a mid-game sweeper. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do with this Dragonite is the item. Weakness Policy is a super good item to run on this Dragonite set because if you get a D-Dance off and someone hits you with the super effective move right off the bat, your attacks, special attack, and speed will all be raised by 2, which is super good. Um, I love running the set just because you also are able to live the super effective attack because you have multi-scale. And multi-scale is an ability that allows the attack that your opponent threw at you to be halved in two, so it only does half damage. Which is a very, very good tactic to use in Pokemon. Mostly with Dragonite. Now, you could also you could run Weakness Falsy, but you could also run Lumberry, which is also a good item to run on this Pokemon. Um, it allows all, if you get hit by a Paralyze or uh, you get burned or something, Lumberry will just take that status effect and throw it away for one turn, of course. Uh, but once you use up the Lumberry, it will be gone. So personally, I don't like running Lumberry because it only works for one turn. Uh, with Weakness Policy, it works for, for one turn too, but you just get so much more out of it, in my opinion. Now, for the move set, you're going to want Dragon Claw, D-Dance, and Extreme Speed. Now, I left the slot open because you could do many things with this uh, slot right here. You could do Earthquake, which is personally my favorite. You could also do Fire Punch if you want to, uh, right here. And then you could also do Thunder Punch, which is also viable. Now, again, I personally love running Earthquake. I think it's just a better move all around for sweeping. But you could really do what you think is best for your team. Now, for the EVs, there's... A lot of ways you could run Dragonite, or this set pretty much. You could run full attack, which I have here in full speed. Uh, Dragonite stats, right off the bat, you could already tell he's a super good Pokemon. He's a pseudo legendary, so you weren't expecting anything less from him. But for his HP defenses, um, super bulky Pokemon, pretty bulky. And then for his attack, super high. If you run an Adamant Nature, his attack will actually go up to 104, or 400. Sorry about that. It will go up to 400, which is super good. Um, not many Pokemon's attack stats usually go up to that. Um, that's only an adamant nature though. He still has a decent attack stat in Jolly. And Jolly is usually the way you're going to want to go because he has decent speed. But if you don't give him that extra speed boost, he's not really going to be outspeeding certain Pokemon if you're trying to sweep. So for this set, I usually like going for Jolly. I've seen adamant before, but I think Jolly's more uh, viable. Now, you could also run full HP into Dragonite instead of speed as well if you want to just live attacks. But again, with that speed, you're going to want it just so you can outspeed other Pokemon that could potentially outspeed you even though you're plus 3 already. Okay, so moving into the second set here, we've got Choice Specs Dragonite. And I know what you think, he Choice Specs Dragonite. It's a pretty weird set just because you usually know Dragonite as a physical attacker. Well, his special attack is still pretty decent and this is a really good revenge killer if your opponent's not expecting it. So of course you're going to be running Choice Specs. You could also run Choice Scarf, but personally, Choice Specs is just like better just because you get the special attack boost and it's just better all around. Uh, the ability you're going to want multi-scale again and then Thunderbolt, Dragon Meteor, Flamethrower and Hurricane is the set you're going to want. You get that stab boost with the Hurricane Dragon Meteor which is, re which is really good and then Flamethrower and Thunderbolt just helps you with uh, covering more Pokemon's uh, types. Now for the EVs, you're going to want Special Attack Full and Speed Full. This is because Dragonite's Special Attack isn't as good as his attack, but if you invest all Special Attack into his moveset, then he's still going to have a pretty decent high Special Attack as you can see right here. Uh, you're also going to want the Modest Ability, or the Modest Nature. 
Uh, you can run Timid, but again, his special attack's not going to be the greatest if you do that, so really, Modest is going to be the way you want to go, and the rest into HP. So moving into the third and final set here, we've got Choice Band Dragonite. Now this is a super good set just because it hits like a truck pretty much. Choice Band allows your attack to be raised, multi-scale you'll lift the first attack, and then for the move set right here, you're going to want to run Dragon Claw, Earthquake, Extreme Speed, and really all you, whatever, whatever you think is best for your team really. Um, you could run Fire Punch like I showed earlier right here, you could even run um, Thunder Punch as well. There's many physical moves that you could run with Dragonite. So I'm going to put Thunder Punch here for now. And for the EVs, again, you're going to want attack, full, speed full. You could also run off full HP if you don't think Dragonite's really going to be outspeeding anything and you just want to live attacks, which is good as well. It's a good revenge killer if you do that. And then you could also run a little bit of attack. I've seen a little bit of HP and then the rest in speed. It's super good. And then for the nature, Jolly or Adamant, really all you want, wh whatever you want to do. If you want this thing to just be killing everything, run full attack and then full speed because with that extra boost from Choice Band, you're just going to be hitting like a truck. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my how to use last strategy guide for Dragonite. If you did, go ahead and tell me in the comment section down below what Pokemon you would like me to do next and also give me some criticism because then I can improve my videos and make them more entertaining for you guys. So anyways, if you guys like this video, shoot that like button with Kamehameha.